What's going on everybody? My name is Prometheus and this is going to be a bit of a tutorial because I've seen some interest in how I made the missiles in my PW weapons mod and uh, I don't like to leave you guys not knowing what's going on. So I'm going to show you the... Bay. it's going to be a very cut down version of the process because... Okay, right now you, there's a uh, shadow play little status icon logo in the top right corner. It's really bugging me and I know you can't see it, so whatever. Anyways, we are going to be showing you the generic like setup for the missiles, and I'm going to walk you through the process. This is actually a Nike Hercules uh, service-to-air nuclear missile designed to take out entire formations of bombers. This was made very specifically by request for the Devil Dog Gamer for some of his KSP videos, but he hasn't done videos in like a month, and I feel disappointed that he never got the chance to use it, even though he did show it off. And I understand the situation he's in, and he's told me what's going on, so I'm not that surprised that he's not making videos on that right now. Anyway, the things to note of this model, besides the fact that I'm using a single piece model, this was made in many pieces and put together, and that's just how I do it. You can do it with multiple parts, you just have to be a little careful. Anyway, uh, make sure the origin is set roughly in the middle of the missile itself because this is where it's going to attach from. In this one, I probably should have put it back here, where I just put the 3D cursor, but, you know, whatever. Whatever works is what works. Now, I am double-checking my audio is recording. Anyway, the dimensions have to be set by going to... Where is ya? Um, where is that? Uh, right, yeah, <laughs> I'm in the right tab, and I got confused. And anyway, we have to set it to metric. If you set it to none, it will be in blender units, and it's just like, I don't know what 3 is, and it's not very specific metric. just tells you what it is so you can get your scale correct. Um, you can also have it in Imperials. This tells you it's 9.843 feet long, but whatever. Anyway, the thing to note here is your UV map, which you make by... I'm not sure. If I hit go to edit mode. Yeah, it shows you all the different parts, and if I go to my UVs, um, it doesn't show the seams, but anyway, the UV map is you have to make, and that's what you atta attach your texture to. To do that, you go and you export a basically a PNG, your UMV map of this, and I can't really unwrap it right now because it's not set up for it, and it would take two hours to set up pretty much, but I use GIMP because I'm cheap, and this is just what this UV map for this missile looks like. These are the different parts layered over, and since they overlap, it's not really a big deal. It's just going to share the texture. And now, I added this layer back, so I want to delete this layer. No, I mean, like, delete layer. There we go. And these are just text, and this shows on the missile itself, and don't worry, they're not in the same place on any of them. And that's just what that looks like, and you're going to export this back, and you basically apply that texture back to the model in Blender, so that when you press F12, which I'm not going to do right now because the texture isn't on this model, don't tell me why, I don't know why, um, that's just where it's set up. Now, one thing you do want to take note of before I leave to show you this in Unity, is you want to make sure that your scale is just consistent, I mean it's a little different but it's fine, make sure the rotation is this, negative 90x, and then whatever rotation your Y happens to be to make the fins line up. I make it a standard cylinder and rotate slightly so that it's like aligned with the fins not directly over top because, stop it, that allows me to, it, see it's slightly crooked, Ugh, I can never fix it perfectly. That's why all my missiles suck. I don't know how to do it better because I suck at Blender and I'm even worse at GIMP. Let's go changes. Get away. Ah. Anyway, um, make sure this uh, rotation is doing. You go file and you do export and you do it as an FBX. Now you can do it. Um, I believe you can export it also. Don't use this. This is an add on. Okay, yeah. Get the add on that allows this to open models because this will show you. You can open up uh, the models that come either use my own or the ones that come with BD Armory and this allows you to see the proper layout. You can export as a Collada. As a Collada and I think you can do it as this one, X3D, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just use FBX, it's the most reliable. Anyway, um, where's my Unity? Whoop. Here it is in Unity, and what you do is you just go, just import, uh, you go Assets, Import New Asset, and this is where you would import it into Unity. Anyway, I'm going to go, um, I'm just going to show you how it works. So I'm just going to click on one of these parts just to show it. Or I'll, I'll find the actual Nike, just so... See, I've got a lot of parts now, and I can't find any of them. So, I don't even see the actual Nike. Oh, there it is. Anyway, you can see this is just a preview. Make sure you have your scale factor set to 1. By default, it will be 0.1, and you don't want that. Make sure you have rewrite enabled and optimize mesh. 
do not generate colliders. I found that it's a bad recommendation. And make sure you do split tangents, and that will basically mean it actually gets smoothed out and looks better. I'll revert. I didn't mean to change anything. All right. Anyway, uh, the controls are slightly different in both. So you'll notice the text is like just roughly the right direction. It's just it's correct on all sides, and then it's upside down here. That's just because I'm bad. Anyway. What you want to do when you first enter this in Unity is you're going to enter three game objects. Your first one is going to be blank. This is where you attach the part tool script. Make sure this is at 000 and just name it game object, the default name. And this is what allows you to actually export it. This You want to write the textures in MBM and just name the model model. If it's named anything else, it won't work. And then the file URL is just where you save it. In this case, it's saving directly into my game directory. Then you put the actual, then you put a second one that you just name whatever the missile is. And now you've got a few others. Your collider is going to be a, is a capsule collider that I rotate along the z-axis and this can be positioned anywhere and basically you want it to cover basically the whole missile. It doesn't really matter if the tip or the tail are missing but try and make it as close to the diameter of the main missile since it attaches down here or how I have it managed. This is where you want it to be the right diameter and that will prevent it from clipping through. This isn't a great example. This missile I made like in two hours during a live stream that he was doing so we could test it at the end of the live stream. So, yeah, rough. Anyway, this is the actual object and you want to attach your texture right here just under the materials and you do KSP diffuse which is found under KSP and diffuse. If you do anything else it will show up really weird. Uh, make sure it says cast and receive, receive shadows and just don't change anything on here except for the Z rotation if you have to. And that's just for keeping it oriented properly. Make sure this one is also at 0, 0, 0. All of these have to be at, like, this one, this one, and this one all need to be at 0, 0, 0. Otherwise, your model will not attach properly. Exhaust transform. This one you just place at the back here and you just do rotation 270. Now these settings you can toy with all you want and I'm gonna leave here for a second. Your SRB smoke texture I'm gonna just say grab the one that's already no no you can't use that one. Okay basically in uh, the folders you have the, this and this one you have to just manually find in the BD Army folder and place it in here and then just use the KSB Alpha blended. Uh, you can also use I think you can use additive, but alpha blended is better for smoke. Um, now you want, I'm sorry, it's very late at night, so I'm not thinking the most clearly. I'm just trying to get a quick video out for you guys. Uh, random rotation makes them look all twirly and stuff, and you change emission, don't go over 400 because you're just adding way too many particles for the game to care about. This is generally uh, smaller than one. One is just because this is a really, really big missile, it's like not like nine feet long. It's actually. Yeah, it's a little bigger than that in real life. I think the scales... I had to minimize the scale. Or no, wait, no, it's 12 meters long. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's 9 feet wide. All right, and if I click Emit, it will just kind of show you what it looks like. Now, that it's if I click out, it will show that. And this is what the, tech, the trail pattern is going to look like. Now, make sure Emit is not turned on, otherwise it will emit all the time when you put it in game, and that's a funny mistake I made a few times. Um, try to keep the size not too big, and then just look at the settings I have. You can toy with all of them. This one adjusts like how far back they go. Random force makes them go up and down, and left and right, and stuff. And just basically make sure they're that the the most important one is where the hell is m the world velocity or the local velocity one. Just make sure it's only on the Y because you have it rotated so the Y is going backwards. If you have it in other directions, it will work, but just make sure it's not on world velocity because then it will always go out the Y and your rocket will just be like, oh, I'm going to throw my smoke at a right angle. And you can't fix it without going back here. Um, make sure this is named Exhaust Transform, just like this, and make sure that the collider is named Collider, nothing else. Anyway, once you export, you just write it and you export it to the folder. The next part of the process is a bit different. I'm just, I've such a horrible setup. Anyway, you have to write the actual, you put your textures in here, so your SRB smoke texture, which this one, is it still an MBM? No, these are DDS images. I compress all my images using a program that I have right here. Uh, DDS4 KSP, and this greatly enhances load times and reduces texture sizes, and it just generally is a good thing to do. Anyway, your part. No. 
Anyway, this adjusts all the settings. What I would recommend is finding a missile that's either in my mod or in the default mod that is of similar size, and that gives you a hint for the node attached. You kind of just have to learn these, these, and you can go to the wiki and it will show you what it is. Uh, your name has to be unique. Part module just needs to say part, otherwise it won't work. Uh, author, put your own name, slash Bahamudod, or whatever its name is actually. I think it's Bahamutod, but that's just what I do because that's me. Um, I don't change any of these values generally because I don't care. And if you want it to work in Weapons Manager, the word missile has to be in its name. That's just it has to be. Um, and then just, you put it in your own description. Don't change the attach rules. Put in your mass in tons. Uh, I use the real world values. Angular drag, just leave it 2. Crash tolerance, leave it 5. Max temp, leave it 3600. Thrust, cruise thrust, all these values you just have to tune in game. You have to close the world, go back, and just adjust that as you go. And don't worry about it. Just keep doing it until you get it somewhere where you want. Optimum airspeed, if you go above 600, they really won't hit their targets very well. And honestly, 500 is a bit fast. Um, increasing the steer multiplier will make it turn faster. You can add, there are other values on the bombs and stuff that change how these act. I'm not very good at this tuning part, but I get them to work eventually. Lift area, increasing the lift area, this is absurdly high for a missile, makes them uh, able to turn better as well. So I'm just going to go and real quick show you the difference between that and say, I'll say the P-800, which is my super cruise missile. See how it has terminal maneuvering true, which means it can turn to the last second. There's, uh, there's really no point for that tag, as it's normally also true. Homing type cruise tells it to skim above the surface, like slow down and you set your maximum angle of attack, which is just how much of an angle it can go down at, and then your lift area, steer multiplier, maximum torque is another thing that affects the steering, uh, maximum turn rate, and you can set your cruise height, I believe, somewhere around here. Uh, I feel like that's a value. Huh, I thought that was a value. Maybe that's why this missile behaves so weird. <laughs> Let me double check. No, no, wait, uh, yeah, you work. No, oh, I'm just missing it, clearly. Oh, no, this is a whole nother part. That No wonder that's not there. This is an a, uh, ADM-160 mall that I also built for, um, uh, the Devil Dog Gamer, which you should totally check out his channel, which I would forget to link completely. So, anyway, guys, this has just been a real quick rundown of what you need to do to make the to make your own missiles and make them work in game. I've been Prometheus, and it is actually not that late, but I've been up for a long time. So, I'll see you guys some other time because I gotta get to sleep. Take it easy, bros, or whatever you want to call yourselves.